What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the Creek Life. Again, after work, I'm out here at a little ditch. And we're gonna microfish it. I got the usual Jordan Berkeley Icon Waiter Indonesian microfishing rod. This is a grasshopper, hand carved grasshopper handle or gagang. It's called in Indonesia. Super flexible, super lintur, I think is how they say it. Micro fishing rod. We're gonna use it today, along with the powdered gluten that we used in the last video. Uh, the only new addition is this oral syr syringe. I've seen a lot of people use the gluten bait with the syringe. It makes it a lot easier to put on your hook uh, and carry around with you while you're fishing. Let's do it. Alright guys, I'm going to actually show you guys how to uh, mix this gluten bait. I didn't show you guys how to do that in the last video, so I had a couple people ask me how to do that. I just got an empty container here that I'm going to put the gluten in. And as you see, it's just a powder. There's a little scoop down in here. And grab that scoop. And you just mix it one part gluten and one part creek water. Put your little scoop in there. And you reach down here and get you a little scoop of creek water. Put it in there. And you just kind of take it and mix it up until it turns into a dough. It takes a second. I'll just use a stick. It's already getting doughy. Kind of mush, mush it in there, smash it around a little bit. Flip it, turn it. Bop it. Okay, I think that's good enough. There's the finished product. I'll smush it around a little bit more with my fingers. And we're going to take our little... This is a... Uh, this is just a 5 milliliter or whatever oral syringe I got off Amazon. We're going to pack that bait down into the syringe. Push it down in there. And we should be able to squeeze out a little tiny bit of it to put on our hook. Just like that. All right, let's get to fishing. try this first little hole back here guys get our gluten out I'll try to show you this so it's a small hook it's kind of hard to do we'll squeeze out a little bit of gluten and hopefully just slide it right on the hook just like that. Try to get a little bit more on there. I'll kind of smush it on there a little bit. Help it stay. I did add a little float. 
<laughs> a little micro float because this water is really clear right now and I, I think I think it's gonna be hard to catch fish we'll see what happens fish on. Nailed the gluten as soon as it hit the water. I believe this is a striped shine. There's a nice little shot for you guys of the striped shiner. Species number one. Let's see how many more we can catch. Alright, this is the next spot. I see a ton of fish. I think they were mostly striped shiners. Uh, but it's loaded right here. I hope we didn't spook them. Uh, from the looks of it, we're going to have a pretty good, pretty good time right here. There's one. This is our second species. The creek chub. Get you guys a uh, visual of the creek chub. That's a nice picture right there. These are juvenile creek chub. They're not very mature. At least I hope it's a creek chub. I'm, I could be wrong. <laughs> That's what it looks like. We'll let you guys decide. So in the comments, let me know uh, what you think. Pretty sure it's a creek chub though. Game in the water. Be free. Second species, baby. Let's go. I think when I stood up, I scared him. Yep. It's another striped shiner. I'm not going to put him in the photo tank because we've already caught a striped shiner. Be free! Oh God. 
This is our third species. I believe it's a telescope shiner. Or a Tennessee shiner. There. These shiner species are hard to freaking hard to freaking ID sometimes. Oh god, no. Give you guys the close up of it, see what you think. I think it's a telescope shiner, third species. There's one. Another stripe shiner. Stripe shiner. It's dead. There's some big fish right there. I see them do. And they're kind of getting used to me right now. But I think they're all stripe shiner. Which that's fine. I'm not hating on the stripe shiner. Right here's where we caught our fourth species last time. Hopefully we can do that again. God dang. What the crap is that? Come up and nailed it, dude. This is our fourth species. I don't know if I can get this one in the photo tank. It's blue me up. We've got emerald shiner, or not emerald shiner, telescope shiner. Creek Chub Stripe Shiner. And now, yeah, it's a little bit too big for the photo tank. Now, the bluegill. For the fourth species. I know there's green sunfish in here, and I know there's red breast sunfish in here, so we can still catch quite a few species. Alright, y'all. We managed four species. Uh, this creek hasn't been as productive as far as species goes. It uh, seems like I, every time I fish this, I've, I've never caught a new species. I've uh, always caught the same thing, and it's not very very productive. I don't know. Don't know how many times we'll be coming back here, but anyway, thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. Please like and subscribe. I'll give a link to everything that we used in this video below the in the description, uh, and we'll see you next time.